In this video, we're going to talk about Katana's real-time planner and how it's used on the cell screen, but we're actually going to break this video up over into three segments. And the first segment is we're going to talk about how sales orders book products from manufacturing as the first thing. And second, we're going to talk about the make-to-order workflow and how a make-to-order business is going to book materials against sales orders. And then in the third video, we're going to talk about the relationship between sales orders that book from manufacturing that are made to stock and how sales orders book from manufacturing that are made to order. So as a quick refresher, if you haven't already, uh, we do have a video about covering the real-time planner on the make screen, which can be found in our series five, episode three, real-time planner make screen. Um, this is where we covered the basic relationship between how the available of availability of ingredients is related to the manufacturing order rank. And we also covered a few other topics in that one as well. But in order to kind of get an overview of how that works on the cell screen, the relationship is more or less the same, just the application of documents is different. So firstly, uh, on the make screen, it was basically a relationship of we're manufacturing this product that requires certain materials and ingredients. Are those materials ingredients in stock expected or not available? And then we could drag and drop and change that specific status as it's related to the manufacturing order. Now on the sell screen, where we see this information is on the sales items availability column. Now, what is a sales item? A sales item is a product or item that is existing as a row on the actual sales order. And the relationship of the sales order, which contains products, is looking to see if those products are available to send in order to complete the sales order. And the relationship is exactly the same. It's based completely on rank. Now, what it's asking here is, do I have all of the products in the corresponding sales order in stock in order to send out that sales order today. So we'll look at sales order one and it says it's in stock because it is currently green. And if we look at it, then you'll notice that the item that's in here is currently in stock. We can just ship out the order without any problem. So we're good to go. You're using this in your manuf or you're using this in your sales fulfillment process just as much as you would be making decisions on the manufacturing queue for your manufacturing operations processes. So um, that's the first step. The second step is, do I have all of the, uh, for all of the products that are presently in my, in my sales order, are any of them currently not in stock? And if they aren't in stock, are they coming in from a manufacturing order? Or are they coming in from a purchase order in the case of a reselling business? And if the answer is yes, then it will change the entire state of the sales order to an expected state. So for example, let's take a look at sales order number two, Rob Decor, who's actually ordering three items. And these three items, two of them are in stock, but one of them is currently expected. So as a result, the entire order is in an expected status. The entire order cannot be fulfilled until one of those three items comes in. And that item that is currently being waited on, when you go inside of the sales order, you can see all of the more specific details on a line item level. And then you notice, okay, well, this is the item that's presently missing and is expected to be completed on the 13th of December. And by the look of it, um, here it, here it is for the manufacturing order that is in the manufacturing queue that it's booking from. So that's the expected status. That answers the question is if the item is not, if the item is not in stock, then the item at least to ha at least has to have itself coming in from some location, which we could book it from. Now, if there's absolutely, if there's at least one item in the sales order that isn't in stock, then it will go into a not available state. I don't have another example of that, but I can look at this one as an example, sales order number six, where it simply identifies that the 
sales order is trying to book a product that is presently not available. It's not in stock. There are absolutely no existing manufacturing orders or purchase orders with that item on it. And so that's where you get the information in front of you that says, okay, can I make that item or do I need to make that item? Yes or no. And so if it's red and not available, that's a red flag for you to make a decision to manufacture that good. Now, with respect to the booking of available products, uh, then the same thing works and it, and it applies in exactly the same way as it would if, uh, if you were talking about manufacturing orders. So for example, in this case, I've got two sales orders, uh, one from Mark and one from Jason. Mark is the one at the higher position and Jason is the one at the lower position. And if we look at Mark, he's ordering a, a black dining room table. And if we look at Jason, he's also ordering a black dining room table. So according to our booking, it looks like the availability of those goods is they're not presently in stock, but we're booking it from an incoming manufacturing order. And so if I'm changing the rank between these two, you'll notice that it updates the rank to the corresponding order that's holding that position in the queue. And so for now, I've got one manufacturing order I'm booking that good from. And if we look closer inside of it, and you see that it's expected on the 15th of December, and we click open that manufacturing order, and take a closer look here, manufacturing order number nine, you can see that the goods are in stock. Now, if I mark that as done, and all of those materials were consumed and made, then you'll see it also update on the sell screen list here as well, where the sales item is now in stock and now ready to be shipped out to the client. Whatever sales order has the highest position or rank in the queue with respect to that is going to book that available product from inventory in order to ship out. So that's the relationship that's taking place between the manufacturing orders and the sales orders, as well as the in-stock product and the sales orders.